The James Webb Space Observatory has done it again. As time goes on and it discovers more and more about our space, it is fascinating how it manages to redefine virtually everything we thought we knew about space or defy any calculations made by scientists. Recently, the James Webb has detected an object that is 100 times larger than the Milky Way. How did it manage to discover such a structure? And what does this mean for humanity? Join us to explore a little bit more about it. If you are interested in keeping up to date with news from the universe and its surrounding, subscribe to our channel. Be sure to like this video and turn on the notification bell. The number of structures that have been discovered occupied a wide range of characteristics. After publishing this first photograph on July 11, 2022, the fascination they generated made it clear that we are just beginning to get to know our outer space. This of course means that it would have been only a matter of time before we find an object much larger than our own galaxy. Space seems to be replete with such comparisons. After all, in our galaxy we have a planet larger than many suns, Jupiter, just as there are many moons of similar size to the Earth. Back to the topic in today's main protagonist, let's talk about the strange Alcyonian galaxy. This is a radio galaxy, a type of galaxy that is very luminous in radio frequencies. These radio frequencies span a particular broad spectrum with wavelengths ranging from 10 MHz to 100 GHz. Although the James Webb Space Telescope has not yet studied this imposing galaxy in depth, it is hoped that it will soon shed light on the mysteries it conceals. Alcyonio is located 3.5 billion light years away from our galaxy. According to several scientists, this galaxy is one of the strangest things ever found in our universe. The beginning of its history is complicated in itself. This massive and imposing galaxy was discovered by accident in what is being cataloged as a great stroke of luck. Estimates made by scientists indicate that this galaxy would rank as the largest known galactic structure in our universe. To understand this a little better, it is necessary to note that, as a general rule, radio galaxies have a massive black hole at their center. As it traps matter in its interior, two radio jets are expelled to opposite sides of the nucleus of the galaxy itself. This process ends up generating a large amount of loose particles in space, particles that end up forming part of the creation of new stars and planets. Simply put, the galaxy is an ecosystem in itself where a constant cycle of creation and destruction is repeated and respected. At the time, Alcyonium was discovered by a group of scientists using the Low Frequency Telescope Array, or LOFAR. This is an array of variable frequency telescopes spread across Europe. Although the existence of Alcyonium had been suspected for some time, confirming its presence had proven to be much more challenging than expected, especially since its columns were faint. However, years of observation facilitated its discovery as scientists reprocessed all the information they had about the galaxy, discovering new and interesting patterns that eventually formed the final pieces to find Alcyonius. This mythology is relatively popular, being used on several locations to prove or disprove the existence of other galaxies. The case of Alcyonia is particularly interesting and curious, largely because of its size. This factor has generated many doubts over time, considering that there is no reliable explanation to explain how it managed to reach its size. Throughout the video we have mentioned that this galaxy is considerably larger than the Milky Way, but how massive it really is. It is necessary to understand that galaxies, as well as planets and stars, are measured from one point of view, that of the Earth. The only way to estimate the size of a galaxy is by observing astronomical images captured by a space observatory from its point of view. Based on several reference values, it was possible to accurately measure the wingspan of Alcyonius, which is located at 16 million light years. Although this number alone seems surprising, it turns out that the size of its galaxy is equivalent to 100 times the length of the Milky Way. Here we must take a moment and weigh our knowledge especially about this particular type of galaxy. To date, there are approximately 1,000 radio galaxies known to exist, of which only 10 of them are more than 10 million years across. With its size and being located 3.5 billion years away, if this galaxy were visible to the naked eye, it would occupy the same as our moon in the celestial vault. Alcyonia's discovery is of great scientific importance, providing vital information about some filaments of our cosmetic web 
that, even today, are difficult to characterize. When talking about the cosmetic web, we're basically talking about the building blocks of the universe, composed mainly of interconnected filaments and dark matter bonded with gases on which galaxies will eventually be built. The clearest and most relevant example of these filaments would be the Great Wall of Hercules Boreal Corona, which measures about 10 trillion light years, hosting billions of galaxies. On the other hand, when talking about voids, it is necessary to mention the Kina, Barber and Koei, popular referred as to KBC. Its diameter is estimated to be around 2 billion light years, and our galaxy is contained in this spatial region. Like the Milky Way, Alcinius lies in its own filament. Its columns experience a kind of headwind as it moves through the medium. This subtle change affects its trajectory and the way its columns move, which seem to prefer something resembling rather slow dance. About its size, much speculation has been made. Some scientists theorize that its impressive size, which seems to defy physics itself, is due to the fact that this galaxy was born from a black hole. Although this is a possibility that seemed viable, it was proven incorrect. A curiosity that would be linked to the beginning of the galaxy is that in all its extinction, no moon has been found. It is important to know that moons are quite common stars throughout our universe. So the total lack of moons in an entire galaxy could imply or provide clues about its origin. Theories explain that the lack of moons is not because they do not exist, but because how difficult it has proven to be to explore this galaxy. It is expected that over the next few years or even months, the James Webb will be able to provide necessary information to clarify the mysteries hidden in this galaxy. In addition, astronomers have pointed out that this galaxy is in constant expansion. As a consequence, Alcyonia is a region with a low density than the average in which it is located. Scientists who are part of the group that found Alcyonia commented that, beyond the geometry, Alcyonia and its host are suspiciously ordinary. The total low frequency luminosity density, stellar mass, and supermassive black hole mass are lower than, but similar to, those of the medial giant radio galaxies. Only time will dictate the fate or what we will be able to discover about its galaxy, which could heighten its imposing size, so answers that will allow us to know a little bit more about how our universe works and the cycles through each I go through. We invite you to subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell to keep up to date with our new releases where we'll discover some of the secrets that are hidden in the vast solitude of space. And that's all for today. If you liked the video, please like it and we hope to hear from you in the comments box. See you soon.